Hey family, God bless you. It's Pastor Tony. It is um, about three o'clock in the morning here in Miami. I just got home from work <clears throat> and uh, had a really rough day. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I don't even want to tell you about it. It was rough. Yeah, wow. It was bad. Anyway, thanks. Thanks to God, I've got a job. Anyway, I just, <clears throat> I put out a video earlier uh, this morning, just a quick update. And, uh, you know, I haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately. <clears throat> and um, one of the comments that was left to me was from a sister. And she'll know who she is. But she uh, wrote down, she said, um, thanks for the update. It's good to see you. Um, you're, you're one of the few people that I still follow on YouTube. You know, she, I guess she's probably cut out a lot of the people she's been following and watching videos. She said, um, it's good to see you. I, I, you know, I cut out most of the people I watch, but you're one of the few people that I watch. And, you know, even, even, you know, I'm not putting out videos as often. And it really kind of broke my heart, to be honest with you. Um, in a good way, I suppose. I, I uh, guess you never know. You never know how you're making a difference, if you're making a difference, you know. And I've always said this is God's channel. This is not my channel. This is His channel. It brings Him glory. I'm just a vessel. Um, it's very humbling to know that there is somebody else out there in this great big world that values your opinion. You know what what you say, and and they they wait for your next video to come out so they can hear what you got to say. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start crying here because um, I'm all emotional because of my rough day today. And I read that person's comment, and it just really got to me. And I, I want you all to know, anybody within the reach of my voice right now, whoever's listening, I love you. I would die for you. I love you. I love you. And I'm going to get to spend eternity in heaven with you. And uh, that's a lot to look forward to, you know. I, I know I haven't been the best pastor here in the world or on YouTube. And I know that sometimes I don't speak with amazing eloquence. And I know sometimes I can let my human emotions get the best of me and I can put out videos and say stuff that's very human-esque. Um, and I know I've probably disappointed some of you and I've caused people to run away from this channel, you know, and I'm human just like you, you know, just like anybody else on this planet and I try to do my best. Sometimes I fall short and that's when Jesus is there to pick me up. But I want uh, you to know I'm going to start doing readings again. I'm going to start, the Lord's placed on my heart to start reading the Bible again to you. I've, I've been away from that for a few weeks now, and it, uh, <clears throat> something's missing in my life, you know. And if I'm not reading the Bible to you, maybe I'm not reading it to me as much as I should. So, uh, get out your Bible. We're going to start in Matthew. Or in Hebrew, Madath Yahu. And it is the first book of the renewed covenant, or the New Testament, as many and most of you know it, the Berit Hadashah, the New Covenant, Matthew chapter one, Matthew chapter one. Get your Bibles out. Let's do this. The book of the genealogy of Yeshua Hamashiach, bane of David, bane of Abraham. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coming down with something. And 
Verse 2, Abraham brought forth Yitzhak, and Yitzhak brought forth Yahakob, and Yahakob brought forth Yehuda and, Yeh and his brothers. And Yehuda brought forth Peretz and Zerah by Tamar. And Peretz brought forth Hetzron, and Hetzron brought forth Ram. And I know these, these genealogy verses and, and books are hard to read, but it, if it wasn't in the Bible, uh, it wouldn't be important. If it's in here, it's important, so we, we need to read it. We, this way we figure out where Jesus came from. And of course we know that he came from the, the, the family of David, the, the, the linea, lineology, lineage What's the word I'm looking for? Somebody help me out here. Of David. Um, Let's continue. And Ram brought forth Aminadab, and Aminadab brought forth Nashon, and Nashon brought forth Salmon. And Salmon brought forth Boaz by Rahab, and Boaz brought forth Obad by Ruth, and Obad brought forth Yishai. And Yishai brought forth David the Sovereign. And David the Sovereign brought forth Shalemah by Uriah's wife. And Shalemah brought forth Rehabam, and Rehabam brought forth Abiyah, and Abiyah brought forth Asa, and Asa brought forth Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat brought forth Uram, and Uram brought forth Uzziah, and Uzziah brought forth Yotham, and Yotham brought forth Ahaz, and Ahaz brought forth Hizkayu, that's a rough one, His Hitzkayahu, and Hitzkayahu brought forth Menasheha. And Menasheha brought forth Amon, and Amon brought forth Yoshiyahu. And Yoshiyahu brought forth Yekonia and his brothers at the time of the exile to Babel. And after the exile to Babel, Yekonia brought forth Shealtiel, and Shealtiel brought forth Zerubbabel. And Zerubbabel brought forth Abihad, and Abihud, Abihud, and Abihud brought forth Eliakim, and Eliakim brought forth Azor, and Azor brought forth Tzatog, and Tzatog, Dok, and Tzatok brought forth Akim, and Akim brought forth Elihud, and Elihud brought forth Eleazar, and Eleazar brought forth Malton, and Malton brought forth Yahakob, and Yahakob brought forth Yosef, the husband of Miriam, of whom was born Yeshua, who was called Mashiach or Messiah. Praise God. Verse 17. So all the generate and this is very important, so catch this. So all the generations from Abraham to David were 14 generations. And from David until the exile to Babel were 14 generations. And from the exile to, to Babel and to Mashiach, Jesus, were 14 generations. See, the Lord is very... Uh, He's a mathematical genius, and there's a lot of math that goes on in this great book we read. Um, he's very precise. He's perfect in things he does, and that's just one more example of it. And the birth of Yeshua HaMashiach was as follows. After his mother Miriam was engaged to Yosef, before they came together or had sex, you know, she was found to be pregnant from the Ruach HaKodesh. Holy Spirit. And Yosef, her husband, being righteous and not wanting to make a show of her, he had in mind to put her away secretly. He was going to divorce her in secret. But while he thought, but while he thought about this, see a messenger of Yahweh appeared to him in a dream, saying, Yosef, son of David, do not be afraid to take Miriam as your wife, for that which is in her was brought forth from the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, took over Mary and um, brought forth the Son of God, the only Son of God, Jesus. Amen. And he shall give birth to a bane. Verse 21. And she shall give birth to a bane, or son. And you shall call his name Yahweh. I'm so sorry, pardon me. And you shall call his name Yeshua. For he shall save his people from their sins. And all this came to be in order to fill what was spoken by Yeshua through the Nabi, the prophets, saying, 
This is what the prophet said. See, a maiden shall conceive, and she shall give birth to a bane, a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated means El with us, God with us. And Yosef, awaking from his sleep, did as the messenger of Yahuwah commanded him and took his wife. But he knew her not until she gave birth to her son, the firstborn. And he called his name Yeshua. The name above all names. Jesus. Amen. Anyway, family. Um, I love you guys. I really do. You know, even those out there that have been real mean to me. And, uh, you know, it hurt me. We all get hurt, you know. All you atheists, I love you guys. If you're listening to this and you've gotten to the end of this message, I love you. You Muslims, I love you guys. If this message has touched you, praise God. Give him all the glory. And I want to make a little statement to all the people out there in the world that are not Christian. You might be listening to this. Because the internet is vast and God can work in mysterious ways any way he wants. He can put this video into the into the monitors of a billion people across this planet. It's all up to him. If you're not Christian, if you don't know that Jesus Christ is the only Son of God, and he takes away the sins of the world, and that he died and was raised from the dead three days later, if you don't know that and believe it and live it, you are going to hell for all eternity. You don't have to. Okay? There are millions and millions and millions of people all across this world getting saved right now, coming to Jesus because they asked him, Lord, Jesus, if you're real, will you reveal yourself to me? So I want you to do that, okay? This message is for anybody out there that's not Christian. If you will close your eyes and just pray. And, and I think census of the world says that most people in the world believe in God. Most people in the world believe in a higher power. You know. Um, so just pray. Just say, Lord, if Jesus is real, if he's your son, if if these crazy, whacked out Christians out there, if, if, if what they're saying is true, will you show me? Somehow show me. Tell me. And he will. Okay, Jesus is coming to millions of people on their dreams lately. You know, people are getting saved, especially in, you know, Africa, China, Middle East, places like that. It's happening, you know. So if you don't have Jesus as your Savior and you don't believe that he is the Christ, just just say that. Just say, you know, Jesus, if, if you're real, you know, show yourself. Reveal yourself to me. Please, I want to know. And he will. And forevermore your life will be changed, I promise you. And I will get to spend eternity in heaven with you. And it's going to be fantastic. Anyway, family, I'm just kind of ranting on now. It's, like I said, it's 3 o'clock in the morning here and I'm, I'm beat tired. But I wanted to put this message out and just tell you I love you so much. I love you guys. And uh, I'm praying for you. Stay strong. God bless you. And uh, we will read Matthew chapter 2 tomorrow, Lord willing. I love you guys. Bye.